welcome back to my channel today I'm here with a new video today I'm going to do a really quick review of the new Tom Ford liquid luxe matte lipsticks um, I just picked mine up from Nordstrom but these are available at Sephora but before we get started if it is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like the Tom Ford liquid lipstick retails for $59 it's available in 10 shades it has a matte finish it is long wearing full coverage this is a long wearing lipstick that melts into the lips delivering vivid high impact color with a cloud like a creamy feel. Out of the 10 shades, I only got two just because the lipsticks are very expensive. For some reason, um, when I ordered these from Nordstrom, they didn't send these together. Like they shipped one out and then they shipped the other one out. So one shade I had a couple days before I got the other one and I actually wore it a lot. I actually did a short of it over the weekend. So I can kind of tell y'all how long wearing is after um, I apply it to my lips. And the first shade that I have is Lark and Lark is described as a rosy brown. I'm going to just apply it to my lips. I'm not going to use a lip liner. Okay, this is what the shade Lark looks like on me. It doesn't look all that brown to me. This is more of like a pinky shade. Yeah, this could almost be a nude on me. Uh, these lipsticks feel very creamy. I don't know if you guys ever picked up the Gucci liquid matte lipsticks. Like the texture of that, these almost feel the same exact way. But the slight difference versus this and the Gucci lipstick is that this is much more long wear. I feel like with the um, Gucci liquid lipstick, the minute you eat, drink, it's pretty much off your lips. This you can eat, drink, and it's going to stay put. It's not going to go anywhere. And you can build the color up as bright as you want. You can get, make it look super pigmented. Also with this shade, you don't have to use a lip liner. With the next shade, and the other shade that I picked up is... What is this called? I think it's Smitten. Smitten is described as a warm brown y'all if i would have known that i was picking up a warm brown and a rosy brown i wouldn't have went with both of these shades but out of the 10 shades these were the only two that really caught my attention i've been noticing as i've been looking through like my lipstick collection i buy a lot of the same shades just from different brands so i'm trying to get out the habit of doing that obviously i didn't because i wouldn't have went with two brownie shades but anyway i'm going to wipe this off my lips then i will apply the shade um smitten okay so now i'm going to go in with the shade smitten y'all so this is what smitten looks like to me this is almost kind of like a terracotta shade not really um almost kind of looks like a new i feel like you could use a brown lip liner with this one it wouldn't look bad with the brown lip liner um i didn't use a brown lip liner today in the video just because i really wanted to see what the shades look like just in case if anybody with a deeper complexion really wanted to see how it would look on someone that's around their skin tone you have a good idea without you know using a brown lip liner um i like this shade a lot better than the first shade i tried lark all right so my final thoughts on the lipstick do i feel like they're worth picking up i do feel like they're worth trying out um they are a little pricey so i wouldn't pick up three and four shades i would maybe find a shade that you feel like will work for you one that you're going to use often that you don't get a lot of wear out of it if you're familiar with my channel you already know that i'm not a huge fan of Tom Ford lipsticks i feel like they are super expensive and the quality is terrible i don't like their matte lipsticks i don't like the satin uh matte lipstick i just don't like none of Tom Ford um lip products only lip product from Tom Ford that i really like is the Lux lip gloss that's like the only one that I really like now I can say I have another lip product from Tom Ford that I like but overall I'm y'all know I just don't really like Tom Ford lip products but yes um, I feel like these lipsticks are very long wear this is one that you can wear all this day. is a lipstick that you have to exfoliate your lips before you put these on because if you have any dry patches or any dryness it is going to cling to it for dear life so make sure you exfoliate your lips before you applying these also these are mask up friendly 
meaning that you can keep your mask on don't have to worry about this rubbing off you taking your mask off and it's all over your face no these doesn't do that at all you can eat drink and don't have to worry about constantly touching this up so these have my stamp of approval now don't go crazy and buy four or five of these because these are super ex well they're not super expensive but these are pretty pricey the sephora sales coming up so if you want to pick these up and you want to get 15 or 20 percent off i would say go for hey, it that is it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it y'all let me know in the comment section do you plan on picking these up do you have it already what are your thoughts most importantly do not forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye